everyone. Thanks for tuning in. And today I have the pleasure to be speaking with Erica Boulanger, who is the owner of Beyond Massage Aspen, located in Aspen, Colorado. So first of all, Erica, thanks for taking the time to speak with us. Absolutely. Erica, for people that don't know about your business, why don't you tell us a little bit about it and your company? Okay. Um, let's see. So I have been studying natural medicine for about 23 years and, um, I do, I have a master's degree in acupuncture, a licensed, I'm a licensed acupuncturist, licensed massage therapist, and I do functional medicine lab testing, Chinese herbs, Western herbs. Um, I have a natural pharmacy clinic, um, or natural pharmacy in my clinic as well as online. And I also do a lot of therapeutic injections. So things like vitamin B12 or kind of my famous immune boom. So yeah, that's, that's my business. Um, I usually, when I see people, um, I'm seeing them for acupuncture and I do two different styles. So I do an orthopedic acupuncture as well as five elements acupuncture. And um, the orthopedic acupuncture is purely musculoskeletal um, acupuncture. So, so often, you know, we think of our pain as where it is, or we, th we think we need to treat just exactly where our pain is. Right. And oftentimes, um, what I find is I'm assessing the body and where the muscles are imbalanced. And so often, our pain is not where we think it is, or our, the cause of our pain is not where we think it is. So like for someone who's got knee pain or ankle pain, um, it's usually coming from the glute to the low back. So through assessment, I'm learning where those imbalances are and I'm treating them um, to relieve people of pain. So that's one style. And then I also do a five element acupuncture. And this is one of the oldest forms of acupuncture. And um, it is profound for mental health. Um, depression, anxiety, um, but it's also, I think what I love the most about this system is that the Chinese never separate somebody's emotional experience from their physical experience. So every time I treat, I'm treating the whole body. And um, it's a very different style. Most people haven't experienced this kind of acupuncture. It's one-on-one. -on -one. I'm in the room with you the whole time. Um, I don't necessarily retain the needles. I use very few needles, like maybe four to six, and um, we are creating a symbiotic treatment together. Um, so, you know, not only is it supporting mental health, but it's supporting an array of conditions from, um, you know, better sleep to more energy to pain to digestive concerns to, you know, really hundreds more. So, yeah. Sounds like it's a, a total whole body experience with that. Yeah. Um, very interesting. Sounds like something I want to try. <laughs> so we could talk about that afterwards. Uh, how have you had to change, Erica, due to COVID-19? How you do you know, this? Um, I've been closed for two months. Um, and during that, I guess that's not how I've had to change, but um, I guess the regulations that have come forth since, um, I mean, sanitizing, sanitizing, sanitizing. So um, we are required to remove anything from our office that could collect things. So um, I've, I've had to just rearrange everything, basically. Um, I have to space out. So I have 30 minutes in between each patient so that I can completely sanitize my office. Um, I'm wearing a mask. I'm wearing gloves. You know, I'm taking this very seriously because I want to keep us all safe. Um, but, but mainly it's just upping our game, you know, in sanitation. Um, Not bad to do that anyway, right? <laughs> we're going we're gonna to be a cleaner society after this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's good. And how long have you been in the Valley? I've been here 16 years. I am a lifer. Um, this is it for me. This place makes my heart swell, you know, especially every time I'm in nature, which is really why I'm here. That is why we all do come here. I definitely agree with you. Uh, I definitely agree with you. Nature, our backyard, and the feeling we have when we just walk outside is amazing. Um, so tell me, um, do you have any memorable experiences or interesting stories that you can share? If there's one you want to share, or maybe something that people don't know about your business? 
you know, I was really thinking about that and I, um, I feel like so many of my memorable experiences are treating patients or being in the wilderness because those are really the only two things I do. <laughs> right. um, but when I really thought about it, I was like, oh, that one time when the bear broke into my car, you know, here you are sleeping, dead asleep at night and you hear this, I hear a horn, right? My, my car horn. And you kind of wake up, oh, I'm, that's a dream, go back to bed. And hours later, I hear that horn just wailing and I'm just like, oh, and I just hop out of the bed. I'm like, oh my God, there's something in my car. So of course I go downstairs, take a look and a bear is just destroying my car because he can't get out. So, um, you know, that's just part of living here. And you know, it was a pretty comical experience trying to get him out of my car in the middle of the night. Um, but, it, but at the end of the day, it's like, you know, it's why I live here. I love being in nature. I love um, just being able to be with all these wild animals. And, you know, it's, 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 it's just a repair I had to make, but it was, it was pretty funny. So. And uh, being here for as long as you have, are there any particular activities or restaurants that you think is like, you cannot miss this if you're coming out to Aspen? Because we have a lot of people coming to visit here that have never been here, or people that have been coming here that haven't seen certain things and they do the same thing over and over. So being that you are a lifer here <laughs> and you love it, and I know that you have know everything this place has to offer, do you have one, two or three places, activities or restaurants you would like to share? You know, I love um, healthy food. I love food that's farm to table. I love people that make things from just homemade or scratch. And to me, that place is Mawa's in the ABC. Um, I think You're she does a fabulous that. job. I feel like every time I eat something there, and it's kind of like a hidden jewel. Most people don't know about it or think to go out to the ABC um, for a meal, but she serves a great breakfast, um, lunch, and they just started serving dinners as well. I definitely agree with you. I'm going to be speaking with her, I think, on Thursday. <laughs> so, oh, um, yeah, I love her food also so clean. And any special activities? You know, I, I always try to make it a challenge for me every year to find um, a handful of new hikes. Oh. And I started doing that a few years ago. And it's amazing how many hikes we hear, we have here. You know, so many people hike the same hikes all over, all the time. But I just would suggest pick up one of those local books on different hikes because there are so many or just talk to some locals. And, you know, I feel like every year I am finding a new hike or a new trail or something just off the beaten path that just um, is amazing. So yeah. that's good advice. They actually have an app. I forgot uh, the name of it, but there also is an app. I, I'll look it up and I'll, I'll post it in the interview. And um, Erica, thank you so much for taking the time. So for people coming out here that are looking for more than a massage, you know, acupuncture, the other, everything that you've mentioned, where would they find you? I mean, they could find them on my website, but where are you located in downtown Aspen? So I am right across from the art museum on Spring Street. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, Aspen. you'll see Aspen Dermatology is on the, the bottom floor and I'm on the second floor. Oh, Oh, Dr. Taylor. Yes, I, I go to that dermatology place too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I have seen your place. All right. Well, Erica, thank you so much. I think I'm going to try to find some time to do that. I think it's called the five point acupuncture. Is that what it was? Yeah. Five element acupuncture. Okay. And that's, that, that is something that would be more of a, rather than targeting a particular problem, it'd be more something that holistically would bring my body into balance. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Erica, thank you so much. Please stay safe during these times. I, I know a lot of people are going to be coming out here and I'm sure a lot of people want to come, come see you as well. And I appreciate your taking the time and um, we'll talk soon. Hopefully I'll see you even sooner. Thank you. Thank you, Erica. Be safe. Thanks. Bye-bye.